This video has been brought to you by Friends Business Source. Everything for people at work. Okay, so you want to start with a square piece of paper, and the first thing you want to do is fold it in half diagonally down the center like this. And then once you fold it diagonally, you want to take the top left and the top right hand points, and you want to fold them down into the bottom center point. So now it should look like this. Now what you want to do is you want to take these two bottom points and you want to fold them back up to the top point like this. The next thing you want to do is you want to take the top layer on the bottom point and you want to fold it up about an inch towards the top, like this. And then once you've done that, you want to take that whole layer and you want to bring it up and fold it back down again, like that. Once you've reached this step, you want to turn the paper over. Now what you want to do is you want to take the bottom left and the bottom right hand sides of this square and you want to fold them into the center line. This step can be tricky because you've got many folds of paper up at this point here. And so eventually it should look like this. Now you want to turn the paper over and what you want to do is you want to take the whole model and you want to fold it in half all the way down the center. So now it should look like this. Now this end of the model is going to be the tail of the mouse. And what you want to do is you want to take the tail and you want to fold it over and across like this and then you want to take the tail again and fold it back but you don't want to fold all of it back you want to leave about a centimeter still folded over like this so now it should look like that now what you want to do is you want to unfold that and then open the mouse back up again like this now using the two folds you just made, you want to collapse the tail inwards, like this, and then fold the last section out again. So now it should look like that. And once you've done that, you can reclose the mouse. Then you can just adjust the tail afterwards. The last thing to do to finish the mouse is to make the ears. And so up this top point here, you've got three layers. And take the outside layers and just fold them back. And that will make the ears for the origami mouse. Then once you've finished, you can just curl the tail. And you've completed the origami mouse. This video has been brought to you by Friends Business Source. Everything for people at work.